Hello and welcome to the vlog. <laughs> Today we have a very special trip across the aqueduct, but first of all I need to do my engine checks. I'm also going to change out the drip cloth underneath the engine as part of those checks. I've got these, they absorb oil and diesel and not water, so they're really good for keeping your bilge water clear. I bought them on Amazon I think in bulk I've got a ginormous box of them also I need to tighten up the fan belts because I changed them the other day and when fan belts are new they're prone to stretching a little bit as they bed in Munchie's also doing his engine checks Sneak up on it. <laughs> Hold on, my buttons. This is an essential piece of engine bay equipment. It's a grabber with a handle, perfect for lifting the mats out from under the engine and any other things you might drop in there, like your cat. Good morning. You're probably not even watching Kath do the engine bay because you were so bedazzled by our blue boat. She's all beautiful and painted, but she does look really lovely in certain lights. Well, like myself. <laughs> and um, there's some bits that I'm super proud of, but today she is going to look her absolute best going over the aqueduct and she has a guest a guest voyager who is a little bit nervous of boats he doesn't like to take his own boat out very often so um, we've told him that it's going to be completely safe and that he has nothing to worry about and we're going to show him how to do a lift bridge as well because I don't think he has a lot of experience on the cut It's nothing compared to how mean he's going to be about me. Inquiries from people saying, "Are you going to go to Wales? Are you going to do the Langothland?" So we have, um, <laughs> look, hello, mooring the cut. I mean, cruising the cut is here, and <laughs> I'm just going to show him one of these. He he wanted a quick lesson on how to manoeuvre a narrowboat before his big grand tour. Now I think this is where you're going wrong. You have to put on a centre line to move your boat because it helps you maneuver it when you pull up. You're talking jargon, jargon, jargon. Come, come along, sir, <laughs> and I shall show you. <laughs> He's like, why aren't you treating me like a movie star? I'm so used to being treated better. I didn't come here to work. I use I use the engine to move my boat, not this centerline business. I guess where you're going wrong. If you used a centerline more often, you wouldn't have to moor the cut so often. Sorry, except for in June when you are out and about. Do you know how they attach? <laughs> I feel that he's brought his attitude today. Okay, so I'm just heading down to, like, like to the aqueduct. Behind me, I'm leaving Cece in Cuff's very capable hands. She's teaching him how to unmoor the boat. And I'm gonna head down to where the Langochlin hits this kind of turn because you can't 100% see it coming from Trevor Basin and I want to just make sure there's nothing coming across the aqueducts so that we can just go straight across and it can be awesome. So this is the reason that you send someone to check because look a boat it was following a kayak and then we have a little hire boat that has pulled over with a lovely couple and we're going to follow them across and it should just be awesome Yes, few. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
One can hope. Lunch. I'm fading, fading so fast. Lunch. Five, five minutes over the aqueduct. Lunch. Two hours tomorrow, <laughs> two hours to get water. <laughs> Welcome to boat life. Do you have water at where you moor? Do you have to go out for it? Oh no, everything's on hand. I don't have to move at all. <laughs> right, so it's kind of like a house. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, quick. It's your job. What are you doing? What? You want the bank to turn it off? <laughs> oh! So this is what canal boating is like. Yeah. Wow, this is great! I think you might do it. I regularly. might try this one day. I wonder if my boat does this. <laughs> Now, as I understand it, I keep heading towards this bridge and one of you jumps off and raises it in time for us to go through. Is that right? Because <laughs> you better hurry up. <laughs> Indiana Johns.
thank you for watching today. If you didn't know, Cece has another channel which is all about vans. So, this guy here. Hi. Hi. Hello. And um, thank you so much for coming on our boat today. Ah, oh, it was wonderful. And also, I hope you learned a lot. I learned so much. These yes. boat things are fantastic. Excellent. And um, you can check out his van channel as well. Would you mind terribly much, sir, if we prevail upon you to drop us at Tesco? Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. It's going to be one of those, is it? Yeah. Single family. Now remember, this is a family show, so no potty mouth van swearing. <laughs> he mutes all that. What the f People don't believe us when we say that you're a potty mouth driver. Oh, okay. To commemorate our wonderful journey over the Ponca Celta Aqueduct, we are releasing 20 numbered and signed limited edition prints. We'll put the link in the description below. Want to see how I paint my artworks? click over to my other YouTube channel, Art by Anna Marie. Thanks for watching.